kids without a home tonight after a fire rips through a Little Rock neighborhood. Good evening and thanks for being with us at 6 o'clock. I'm Victoria Price. The fire broke out early this morning near 11th Street and Valentine, and that is where we find KERK for his Price McKeon live tonight. And Price, I've got to ask, is the fire department calling this suspicious? Well, Victoria, I just got off the phone a few minutes ago with the Little Rock Fire Department, and a spokesperson says it's just too early right now to even comment on the investigation. But take a look at the damage for yourself and where firefighters say this all started. More than 12 hours later, we can still feel the heat radiating. And neighbors I talked with, and even the woman who said she, li said she lived here, told me they would call this fire possibly suspicious. This is what's left of three homes after an early morning house fire nearly wiped out a row of homes on Valentine near 11th Street. I thought I was in hell because I just seen flames. You know, when you dream, you have a bad dream, it's flames. But Stephen Atkins, who lives next door to where the fire started, wasn't in a bad dream at 4 Saturday morning. It was popping, and I jumped back up and looked, ran to the front door, and there was two fire trucks here. He got out safely with his elderly mother, but Atkins says this home held more than furniture. This is about a man. He did everything he could to raise two kids right. Three kids right. <laughs> All the memories are like a hole in that roof are gone. It's a fire that took away these brothers' family home, but it was first a firefighter, their grandfather, who gave it to them. My grandpa spent everything he could on this house to make sure me and my two brothers and mom had somewhere perfect to live, and now it's gone. One of the only things the Atkins brothers found not touched by flames, the gift LRFD gave their grandpa when he retired after more than 30 years of service. Well, I'm irritated because if somebody did it on purpose, they need to respect other people's property and realize that what happens is somebody had been in that house, woman, man, child, somebody could have died. We were blessed tonight that somebody didn't die. Little Rock Fire is investigating what started the blaze that left more than half a dozen people without a home. He's gone, and it's gone. You know, it's sad. Not with what the fire took, yeah, we're alive. but with what the fire left. This family says they will rebuild. Thankfully, the seven people who lived in this block of homes, they all got out safely. I did learn from Little Rock Fire that one firefighter had minor injuries on his hands, but he's expected to be okay. And again, Victoria, Little Rock Fire Department says they cannot comment if this is or is not suspicious, so we'll continue to keep in touch with them and learn the latest on this investigation. Reporting live in Little Rock, Price McKeon, back to you. All right, Price, definitely keep us updated. Thanks so much. Meanwhile, a 15-year-old in